Hello everyone, and today we're going to be looking at either this vault Tech ration or this Brotherhood of Steel ration. I received both of these, I believe, from Minotaur Trading Company, and I'm going to choose one in a moment. Let me get a coin to flip. Okay, so now we have the coin. It's just a nickel. Uh... Heads. Okay, so it was one, two, so vault tech ration. So I will do the Brotherhood of Steel ration another day. Let's take a look at what the vault tech ration has. Very nicely made cardboard, vault tech logo. <clears throat> and on the lid, we have this. Congratulations, Vault Dweller. Thank you for taking part in this experiment to prolong your American experience. Remember, nutrition, hydration, and hygiene are important to a healthy American way of life. Vault Tech. Well, to be honest, considering some of the heinous things that Vault Tech has done, I don't know if I completely trust them. But, right off the bat, we have four caps. Don't know how Vault Tech knew that caps were going to be a uh, currency in the future, but okay. An MRE spoon. Ooh, a toothbrush. Fresh mint toothbrush. I wonder if this has toothpaste impregnated in it. An accessory kit. We'll look at that in a minute. Blueberry drink mix. I had 12 ounces of cold water. Yeah, this, this probably could have been one of those smaller ones. Sweet snack mix. Half a cup. Cracker it says biscuits. Oh, look! A Sterling Foods chocolate chip cookie. Cream cheese icing? Where have you been? This is Sterling Foods, but I've never seen cream cheese icing in a military MRE. What's going on? Uh, let's see what we have here. Oh, one can of emergency drinking water. And chili with beans. Property of Vault Tech. I do love the little Vault Girl there. So, so this is everything. Well, this at least looks like it'll be a decent lunch. Okay, so here I have 10 ounces of boiling water. A little wet. And I know the emergency water is 12 ounces, but I went with a. Uh, Glass of 12 ounce, 12 ounce glass of water. So, first things first, let's open up this chili with beans. How come military MREs can't be that easy? That's good. Uh, open you up. So it says, add the water, close and shake well for 45 seconds, okay. This is going to be fun. I'm terrible at pouring water. Whoop! got to get that oxygen absorber out. Should have looked at that first. All right, there goes the water. Zip lock that shut. Ooh, that's hot. It's got a nice gusset on the bottom there. Keep it. I, I tell you, at least a Ziploc's better than military MRAs. Hopefully that's enough shaking. I'll set that off to the side. Now we're going to make this blueberry drink mix. Once again, tear that. Oh, I had a little bit of an issue. Still better. Uh, add cold water to pouch and shake well. Oh, I don't know if you saw all that. 
powder dust. This one's gonna be even more fun. Okie dokie. All right. <clears throat> and, whoa, well, it's definitely blue raspberry. No. Okay, now I've zipped. Bot here. Oh, this also has a gusset. Okay, once again, we're going to set that off to the side. <sighs> All right, now I want to. I love that they include a toothbrush, but I'm not going to use this to brush my teeth as I have a sonic hairbrush. So I will just set this off to the side. Same with my caps. I really love my caps. I love them. I'm going to set them off to the side. All right, let's take a look at what's in this hair accessory kit. All right, what do we have? Ooh. Not much, actually. English breakfast tea. I'll save that for another day. Non-dairy creamer. A moist towelette. Salt. Sugar. And a thing of bazooka bubble gum. Okay, that's cool. Never seen bazooka. That's cool. Hmm. All right, I'm going to go get my camp tree that I usually eat off of. Give me one sec. All right, so this is the old enemy mess kit I use when I go camping. So let's see what else we have here. So... Moist toilet for washing your hands. Uh, the creamer, the sugar, and the tea I'm saving together. I'll probably have those for breakfast tomorrow morning. Or, you know, tea later this evening. Sugar is going to go over with the chili with beans over here. Still nice and hot. It's going to take... Mm, it says let's stand for 15 minutes. Drain excess water. Season to taste. Yeah. Let's check out the sweet snack mix that they sent. It's definitely sweet snack mix. It's like Muddy Buddies or something along those lines. That's certainly sweet snack mix. It's pretzels, looks to be graham crackers, mini marshmallows. Is this dark chocolate? Mm, just regular chocolate. That was definitely sweet snack mix. So it's cracker biscuits. Let's see what the crackers look like. They're already they're packaged in a package. They're finger cream sandwich cookies. Well, I mean there's a lot of sweets in here. Take a look at what these finger cream biscuits are. This, this entire meal is probably going to see my blood sugar skyrocketing. Here they are. They have a lemony smell to them. It's not bad, actually. Here. 
And I feel like this bag is probably the bag that the trash would go in. I'm not entirely sure. I do love the reskinned Vault Tech emergency drinking water. One can purified filtered water. Best used by October 2073. Since uh since I use normal water from my refrigerator for the drink mix. So let's try the drink mix. Seems a little frothy in here. That's not bad. Pour this into a Well, in terms of Fallout Universe colors, certainly looks like Quantum Luca Cola. Except about the glow. Yeah, it's just blue raspberry too late. It's good though. Um Let's try this purified drinking water. Sometimes these taste like metallic y, but let's see. I have one thing that I can compare this Vault Tech drinking water to. One thing. And that is, uh, <clears throat> what is the name of that water? Um, the, the slogan is murder your thirst. I, it, it escapes me at the moment. Um, I can't, I can't remember it, but the slogan is murder your thirst and it has literally zero taste. That's what this is. This emergency drinking water literally just tastes like nothing. Like liquid air. That's not bad. Again, never seen cream cheese icing. In fact, I wonder what the cream cheese icing goes to. I would assume on the cookie... But I've gotten these cookies for years without ever getting any cream cheese icing. I have honestly no clue what this thing goes to. None. So, for now, let's set it off to the side. So, with the amount of sugar in this freaking ration... Does this even say, no, the berry drink mix doesn't even say, I guarantee it's probably just. <clears throat> uh, these are 130 grams, one serving, two grams of protein, and nine grams of sugar. So these are nine grams of sugar. I would assume this is a buttload of sugar. Uh, where is the, yeah, of course the snack mix doesn't have anything on it. But that's Muddy Buddies. This is pretty much Muddy Buddies. So I would assume a decent amount of sugar. Oh, yeah. A heck of a lot of sugar on that. Well. I'm going to wait for about 15 minutes until this reconstitutes, and then I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Um, I don't know if it's been about 15 minutes, 
but I'm currently hungry. And if you can tell, I decided to give my spouse the, the Muddy Buddies as that's a bit too sweet for my taste. They loved it though. I cannot get over that, that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and drink this can of water because I'm pretty dehydrated. <laughs> so, for the main entree that y'all have been waiting for, let's take a look at this chili with beans. Oh god, that smells amazing. Does this have corn chips in it? Tomatoes, dehydrated onions, it looks it might have dehydrated onions in it. Well it says pour off excess water. Heck no. That's where you get some of that good stuff. Oh yeah, look at that. Tiny bit al dente. Probably didn't let it sit long enough. I don't have a timer down here, but it's not bad. Not bad at all. We'll add a little bit of sauce. Feels like it probably needs a little bit of sauce. So I'll be right back. Let me have something for that. Uh... My spice kit to take cooking. Let's see what we have in here. We have uh, onion and garlic powder, salt, seasoned salt. Oh, I do I still have some onion onion? Put myself a little bit of onion onion in there. And uh, well, since I put salt. A little bit of oh, pepper. I forgot I have. So this is it: salt, pepper, onion, garlic powder, seasoned salt, onion, onion, and then this is cinnamon. Don't want to put cinnamon in there. Let's see if that'll spice it up a little bit. It's good. It's a little al dente. It just feels like it needs something more. That's it. It came with salt, but it just needed a little bit of extra pepper. Oh, you're feeling my sinuses draining here. So yeah, this is pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up off camera so that y'all don't have to hear me slurping and munching and crunching. <clears throat> now that, that was an entree. I haven't had something that good in a while. Even the military chili mac couldn't really beat that. But that's my personal opinion. Okay, that drinking water's gone. I'm gonna keep that can and the Vault Tech Boxer. Those would make good ones. Uh, save that bazooka for dinner. Let's see what we got here. Take a look at this cream cheese icing. I think I'm gonna try it on one of these cookies. I haven't tried one of these cookies yet. Let's take a bite. Woo! Yep, that's definitely a lemon cookie. Hmm. Let's, let's get a little bit of this cream cheese icing to see what it tastes like. I have a feeling I know what it tastes like because I've had, I love cream cheese icing. Um, 
always terrible with these. So let's let's try this. Mm. Yeah, it's like what you'd find on a toaster strudel. Seems slightly off, but that's more than likely because it's a uh, chock full of preservatives. So I'm just going to eat these on their own. And then uh, we're going to slap that cream cheese on this cookie, make it taste even better. I still can't get over just how good that blue raspberry is. It's like blue raspberry Kool-Aid. It's freaking amazing. So I figured I'd look at this toothbrush real quick. I figured I'm going to use it. It's actually a good medium to firm bristle brush. It's definitely good for cleaning. If this is all you had in a situation, I would definitely use this to clean the teeth. <clears throat> so, you always know this. Sometimes, sometimes these things are so well sealed that they'll just piss like nobody's business. That is a big cookie. I mean... God, I forgot how big these things are. I don't even think I'll be able to eat all that. <clears throat> but I'll try it. I'll try it. Because, I mean, let's see what we got here. Uh, I love how some of the chocolate chips have melted. And it's like nice sheen. It's okay. It's definitely a military cookie. Not the best thing, not the worst thing. I'm going to... Put that there. Put a little bit of cream cheese on it. See if that'll make it taste even better. Eh, still tastes about the same, to be honest. Yeah, I'll probably put that cookie away later. That cream cheese was eh. Not really the best. First, <clears throat> let's uh, wash our hands with this moist towelette before we have anything else. Since we've already got food all over our fingers. And dear lord, this is a wet, wet moist towelette. You know, sometimes the moist towelettes will lose a bit of their... Got a nice lemon scent. Not entirely strong, but this one seems to have held up in storage pretty well. Let's check out that gum. Bazooka. If I remember correctly, this has a comic strip. Yep. <clears throat> now I can see why it was chosen for Fallout. For the, the vault tech, it makes sense. The little morale boost with your dessert. As long as it comes off of the wrapper. 
here we go. Ah, yes, Bazooka Joe comics to go with your gum. I wish they did something like this in Fallout. It'd be pretty cool. Hmm. Tomorrow's a lucky day. In the Fallout universe, this would probably mean that you'd find extra caps or something in a box. That's pretty cool. Put that with that. And with that, I think that's the end of this video. If they do ever come up with more vault Tech ones, I will definitely suggest you buy one. They're very good. Everything in it was good. It's a military ration cookie. It's... You get... <clears throat> having been in the military, if you take this box out to eat, this will be absolutely freaking amazing. But if you're doing it like I am in my basement, eh, not the best in the world. So next time, we will be doing the Brotherhood of Steel box. So look forward to that. And I'll catch you all next time.